Now, rocket across time to the far future. <laughs> when man has conquered the farthest reaches of the galaxy. <laughs> Join us in the world beyond tomorrow for another episode of Space 1956. <laughs> Cadet Rex Blandish calling Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Still no response from Star Command. Weird. <laughs> you think that's weird? You look like a doofus talking in the coffee can. <laughs> Looks like somebody got up on the wrong side of his bunk today. What's your malfunction, Stinky? Well, will you quit calling me that? What, Stinky? That's your name, isn't it? Well, it makes me sound like I've got... Body odor. <laughs> but all sidekicks have jaunty, devil-may-care nicknames. Oh, fine, fine. Why can't I be Winky or bl Blinky? In fact, why can't you be Stinky? You be the sidekick for once. Look, we've got bigger problems right now. If I had body odor, you'd tell me though, wouldn't you? <laughs> it looks like Earth has been destroyed by evil aliens from the planet Voltron. Whoa. Wait a minute, cool your jets there, Blandish. It's up to us to take action. <laughs> you can't even operate the radio. Quick, Stinky, better do a weapons check. Hey, what was that sound? Stinky, somebody's hiding in the airlock. All right, you, come out of there, or I'll blast you with this proton gun. <laughs> That's the blow dryer, Dingleberry. <laughs> Pay no attention to him, he's just the sidekick. Mook and rockets. It's a girl. Okay, relax, you guys. I'm on your side. Hey, hey, I know her. She's Commander Corey's secretary, Venus. Is that so? I'm Cadet Rex Blandish, and this is my sidekick, Stinky. It's just a nickname. I, I don't stink. <laughs> what are you doing on board our ship? I'm on a top-secret spy mission for the Commander. I've intercepted plans for a sneak attack on Earth by the Voltrons. See, what did I tell you? Okay, smartass, even a broken clock is right twice a day. You guys have any weapons on board this ship? Smoke and rockets, do we ever? Well, let's see here, we've got the isotopic radiation curtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hyperthyroid paralegal blast emitter. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, oh yes, the projectile vomit cannon. Hey, what's this? Ooh, ooh. That looks like the sonic vibrator. Uh, mine, mine, that's, that's mine. <laughs> what do you use this for? Nothing, never mind. Well, anyway, we got plenty of weapons. Yeah, the trouble is we don't know how to operate any of them. Okay, listen, you two. This is no joke. The Voltrons are massing their fleet behind the moon right now. We may already be too late. By the rings of Saturn. What do we do? I'll get your weapon system online. You set course for the moon, and we'll take on the Voltrons single-handed. That sounds extremely dangerous. I suppose it is. Maybe we'll get blasted into atoms. Maybe we'll die a miserable, horrible, choking death in the emptiness of space. True. But at least we'll give our lives in defense of planet Earth. Venus, after hearing that, I've only got one thing to say. I'm not going. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm not going either. You said it yourself. Earth is probably toast already. And uh, as the only humans left alive, our job is to repopulate the species. <laughs> yeah. It's our duty. Well, maybe you're right, Blandish. All right, okay. Uh, how do you guys want to do this? Uh, hold on, Venus. You're just a girl. If we have to repopulate the species, Stinky and I can handle it alone. We can do what? <laughs> Will Rex Blandish and his pals figure out how to repopulate the human race? Tune in next time when you'll hear Venus say... Will somebody please hand me my sonic vibrator? <laughs> That's next time on Space 1956. Woo!